Hello my friends. Today we are going to discuss about how to create SIP trunk in Cisco Unified Call Manager. So there are four topics we are going to discuss. First one is what is SIP trunk and how to create SIP profile and SIP trunk security profile and after that we will look at how to create SIP trunk. So first of all I would like to show you what is SIP trunk. SIP trunk is basically SIP communication path which is used to send and receive SIP messages from the Cisco call manager to external SIP devices. Uh, external SIP devices means like uh, external SIP gateways, SIP proxy servers, unified applications, uh, third party PABX like uh, those SIP devices we are calling external SIP devices so now we will look at how to create SIP trunk before we create SIP trunk we need to create the SIP profile and SIP trunk security profile let's look at how to create these two and how to create the SIP trunk Okay, first we need to log into the call manager and first we will look at how to create the SIP profile. So, once you log into the call manager in the menu bar under the device, device settings, here you can see SIP profile, device, device settings, SIP profile. So, once you go there, there are several pre-created SIP profiles available. If you press find button, you can see some default pre-created SIP profiles available. So what we are going to do in here, we are going to create new SIP profile. So the easiest method is you can easily take the copy of this default SIP profile and you can rename it so I am going to take the copy of this standard SIP profile so I am going to rename this as uh, voice guru SIP profile SIP profile okay so description I am going to put the same description so there are some several several features available in here I am not going to discuss I just show you what are the basic configuration so if you are going down the page you can see SDP information you can change these information and some parameters here there are several several parameters available and here you can see SIP trunk specific configurations and this is one important thing SIP option pin so I would like to enable this feature. So, what is the SIP option ping? Actually, SIP option ping is uh, it is like a heartbeat. Once we enable the SIP option ping, it is sending the option request to the destination. Destination means from the Cisco call manager to external. SIP device. Imagine it should be a third party PABX. So from call manager, once we enable the option ping, he's sending the option request to the third party PABX. Once the third party PABX not available, any network down, no any service down, anything. So it is showing like uh, out of service or oh, it is sending us the service unavailable message that means 503 response or request timeout response so 
from this option ping feature we can use to check whether the destination is available or not once it's not available we can route our calls to another destination so this is very useful feature so in here i am going to enable this you can uh, change these parameters this is in seconds if you want you can change this as a 50 seconds and zip trunk interval out of service and retrain time everything you can change in here and you can oh, sorry i have to first copy this actually okay so once i copy now i am going to change the please keep remember so first you need to copy actually i forgot it okay so now i am going to enable the option ping here and if you want you can reduce or increase these values you can change and we, we are good to go and press save okay for the zip trunk we need two these options one is zip profile which we have created now and the zip trunk security profile okay we have created the zip profile now we are going to create the zip trunk security profile for this you need to go systems security zip trunk security profile system security zip trunk security profile once you go there like zip uh, profile there are several predefined security profiles available so in here also i am going to copy a default zip profile uh, actually i am going to take okay we will take this one non secure zip trunk profile in here i am not going to secure this so i am going to copy this you have to keep remember the copy every profile and you can rename it non secure zip trunk profile so i will rename it as voice guru profile we'll put security zip profile you can copy the description any description you can put here and incoming transport type you can select TLS so TCP UDP in this case we are using non secure zip profile and we are using TCP UDP for the outgoing you can select either TCP or UDP I will keep TCP and there are several default ticks available and if you need and your requirement you can change these values and just you can save it okay we are good now we have created zip profile and zip trunk security profile now we are going to create zip trunk so for this we need to go device trunks device trunks once we go there by default once you install the call manager freshly there are no zip trunks available in here these are pre-created one for the unity connection IMN presence like uh, several applications to from the call manager so we are going to create new one click add new okay in here we need to select the trunk type we are going to select zip trunk okay there are several trunk types available in the cluster h225 so here we are selecting zip trunk and click next
okay just wait for loading okay in here you can select the device name device name means you have to enter the zip trunk name we'll put voice voice guru zip trunk So I am going to use the same as description and you can select the device pool. If you have pre-configured device pool, you can select or oh, I am going to select default one, media resource group list. If you have media resource group list, you can select and the location. These options mandatory and you can select from here. And you, if you need media termination point, you can select this tick. If you don't need, you can keep as it is. So I am going to actually, no, I am not going to select this. And if you are going to use this zip trunk to cube or to the PSTN access, you can select this tick. And if you are call manager has or if your call manager in a cluster you can select this option so i am not going to select these two also and if you are using this zip trunk to inbound and outbound calls definitely you need to select the inbound calling search space in here so i will select this one for the trunk configuration this is not mandatory trunk will up and run without this but you will not get in the calls so that's why we need this option and these are all others are default one we will keep this as it is and here you need to select the zip information destination address so which means the third party BABX address what we are going to do is here from the call manager we are going to initiate the zip trunk from to this third party PABX so we need this PABX IP address actually it is this one I am just copy it and you can paste it here okay done and destination port is default port zip port 5060 if you want you can change this and I am not going to change this here we are going to select the zip trunk security profile which we have created earlier so we created voice guru zip security profile okay and you can see there's a zip profile we are going to select the zip profile which we have created earlier. voice guru zip profile and you can save it select it so now all the basic configuration we are done so you can just press the save okay it is saving once you save it this zip trunk you need to definitely reset the trunk so once it saved then you can reset the trunk this is mandatory actually so you can reset okay you can press the reset button then you can close it then you can go back now we are going to the trunk page here you can see this is the trunk which we have created and it is saying option ping is uh, available that means enabled but trunk is not up and running so that means now trunk is initiating so we need to wait few minutes once it is come up 
so you can refresh or click the find button if it is not come up you can again select this checkbox and you can reset the trunk again so actually this is take bit time okay now it is come up you can see in here zip trunk is up and it is in full service once it is in not service you can see these are no in service so this is how we can create the zip trunk in cisco call managers in here what happened call manager sending option message to here and it is sending replies now we can route the calls to from cisco call manager to this pabx our zip trunk is successful i think you you have learned something from this and if you have any queries any doubt please come put in the comment section so i will plan to have some few videos about the bulk administration so being with me thank you very much for watching thank you thank you very much